Scrum Ceremonies There are primarily four ceremonies in Scrum. We can go through it in chronological order. First in order comes the sprint planning. Now, typically this comes in the first day of the sprint and lasts for two hours for a two-week sprint. Some teams also do it on the last day of the sprint. So what happens in this meeting? Well, the team looks at the product backlog. The product owner would have already set the priorities in the backlog. The team would pick up stories that they can deliver in the sprint. Not only will they pick up stories, they will also create tasks underneath the stories that are required to implement the requirement. How would the team know how many stories they can pick up for the sprint? We will look at it in detail when we discuss sprint planning. And then we have the daily scrum ceremony, aka daily stand up. And this is not supposed to last more than 10 15 minutes. Here, the scrum masters run the meeting with the scrum team and product owner as the participants. Other stakeholders can join optionally based on the need. Now, in this meeting, every team member updates others with the following three points What he did the previous day, what will he be doing the current day, and is he facing any blockers or impediments. Now, I told you that this meeting is not supposed to last more than 10-15 minutes. What happens if there is a blocker for one of the team members? Or if there is any dependency that needs a lengthy discussion? Well, the blocker or dependency is not resolvable in the stand-up within few minutes. It is taken offline in another meeting with only the concerned parties. That way, it would save the time for other team members. Sprint review happens at the end of the sprint, typically on the last day of the sprint. Some teams do it on the first day of the sprint. For two week sprint, this nearly lasts for one and a half to two hours. Here, the story owners demonstrate the work they have done in the sprint to product owner and the business. And then at last, we have the retrospective, which as the name suggests, allows the teams to introspect. The team discusses and identifies three things at a high level. What went well during the sprint, what did not go well during the sprint, and action items. Now, there are few other ceremonies which are worth discussing. Backlog grooming, aka refinement. Remember, we said that in sprint planning, the team picks up prioritized stories from the backlog. But when exactly is the backlog prioritized? And when exactly are the requirements in backlog refined? The requirements need to be crystal clear. All possible questions need to be answered by the product owner and business before the team picks up the stories. When does all this happen? It happens in backlog grooming, also known as backlog refinement. Here, the stories are picked up in the decreasing order of priority and then the team discusses the requirement and gets any pending questions clarified. Typically, this ceremony lasts for two hours for a two-week sprint and happens right in the middle of the sprint. Roadmap Briefing Roadmap briefing happens typically anywhere between once in a quarter to once in a year. Here, the product management briefs the entire organization on what is the roadmap that is planned for the year ahead. Keep in mind, it is this roadmap that gets translated into requirements which gets arranged into backlog. Release planning. Feature releases may take more than one sprint to get released. So it is important for an engineering organization to have a release cadence defined. Each release cadence has a certain set of fixed number of sprints allocated and the team plans on the number of features they can deliver as a part of the upcoming release. Bug triaging. Here, the dev and QA come together to discuss the bugs identified. Initially, the QA explains the impact of the bug. Dev explains the root cause if they are aware. The product owner clarifies whether it is a bug. The product owner assigns priority for the bug. It is the product owner who moderates the discussion and has the final say on the bug. Remember, 
It is not always the QA who raises the bug. 